looks like we got a double dose of trailers to talk about. And welcome back to Comic Universe, the only nerd-centric thing you need in your life, DPZ rolling solo once again. And today, I'm going to be doing a back-to-back -back trailer thoughts on two trailers that came out today. Funny enough, they actually came out at the same time, uh, the same moment in time, and I had to watch both. Now, there wasn't really a lot to talk about with one, so I just kind of eloped it in here uh, with the uh, trailer that I probably have a lot more thoughts about. You can probably guess which one I have least thoughts and more thoughts about. So let's talk about the first one, Rambo Last Blood. This is the fi touted as the final Rambo movie by Sylvester Stallone um, before he retires from the character, uh, much like how he retired from ba Rocky Balboa. Now, Rambo Last Blood, when I watched that trailer, I was like, man, I'm getting some serious Logan vibes. And it is, it does feel like old man Rambo. That's kind of what it is. Now, the trailer shows um, Rambo in his later years. He's kind of been like, yeah, well, you know, shit happened, friends died, and I'm alone. But he's still a good man at heart, and he gets wrapped up in a situation, and I'm like, dude, seriously, why can't people just leave John Rambo alone? Like... What the fuck? This looks really good. It's being touted as a drama and an R-rated film. And like I said, I am getting some serious, um... I'm getting some serious Logan vibes, which I... Which I'm fine with. I loved Logan, so... I love the film, so... I'm probably gonna like, uh, Rambo Last Blood. It'll be kind of fun to see. It, I, I really doubt that, you know that they're going to be like, oh, but this is not the f really the final chapter of Rambo. No doubt Hollywood at some point will try to remake it. But really, I'm glad that, you know, um, Stallone is managing to end this character on, on hopefully a very high note and really give... Because a lot of people forget that Stallone is a very intelligent man and he knows how to direct. I mean, he did a lot for Rocky and the dude knows how to hold a film together. He has some acting chops as you've seen in uh, Creed and several other films. He's not just known as the big dumb action ac actor. He does have some acting chops, and that's what I'm really hoping for with this is a deep, dark, and dramatic film with plenty of violence. So, like I called it, Old Man Rambo, but that's what I'm getting and I'm really excited about. So there's really not much else I could have said about Rambo Last Blood, uh, Last Blood other than, it looks cool. There wasn't a lot other to talk about the trailer other than, it looks like John is about to horribly mutilate some motherfuckers. Anyway, so, regar so regarding the other trailer, which I'm sure you, a lot of you guys wanted to see, is The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. This has been talked about for years and years, like, I think this got announced in 2016, and now it's finally happening in August, on August 30th. Um, now, for those who don't know what Dark Crystal Age of Resistance is, it is basically a prequel series that creates the universe and is going to explain some things that, it, that happened and leading up to the Dark Crystal. Now, the Dark Crystal in that film, um, in that film it explains that the Gelflings, except for Jen and Kira, uh, were they, who were the last two Gelflings, the Gelflings were wiped out by the Skeksis. And then here you see that the Gelflings are at the heart of this matter, and we kind of, and what's probably going to happen is that this is going to be very much like Revenge of the Sith, in that we kind of know what's about to happen to all of them. <laughs> because all, unless your name is Jen and Kira, you ain't making it to the movie. <laughs> you you sure as shit ain't gonna make it to the to the movie. And what I like also about this, before I go further in depth with it, is that unlike with um, the Star Wars prequels, which I do like to an extent, um, and with most prequel films that try to add uh, more like technology and things like that, what I like about Dark Crystal in this universe is that every while you do see some new stuff in here, it doesn't feel like it's taking away from the previous universe and the previous you know effects in there. Ninety percent of what you see in that trailer and what we're going to see in the Dark Crystal. TV show on Netflix is, you know, the big, mo you know, the vast majority of the Dark Crystal is made by puppetry and animatronics. So to have all of those practical effects in there, I'm a big fan of practical effects myself. And yes, while we do see some CGI, it's not like blaringly obvious that they use CGI for every little goddamn thing. So I'm happy about that. Um, I really did enjoy that we have, um, that we have this again, and it probably and it shows in this trailer is like, wow, I can see why this took several years to do, 
Um, and even, like, I saw in a background, I saw, like, in an interview where the director uh, was doing 55-hour shifts just to get this done. Like, every day he was pulling 55-hour shifts of directing just to get this done. And I was like, wow, that is dedication right there. So, I'm very much looking forward to seeing this. I do like how we're going to see, like, how the Skeksis and the Mystics were born. Uh, we also got to see Ogre in here, a quote-unquote younger Ogre. Remember, Ogre in the um, original movie said that she was there when the, first, when the crystal cracked and the universe um, changed. So this is probably going to explain that, as well as the Gelflings getting Order 66 out of existence. So, that's going to be fun. Um, all I'm saying is, guys, uh, they have a star-studded cast in here. You've got Teron Edgerton, you've got uh, Anya Ter Taylor Joy, you've got um, Keegan Michael Key as one of the Skeksis. I think Mark Hamill is also voicing a Skeksis as well. Um, you've got a major cast in here, but what I'm saying is, uh, don't get too attached to the to the Gelflings. You can hang out, you know, you can roll with the Mystics and the Skeksis. Don't get attached to the Gelflings, because, yeah, um, yeah, if you thought the Gen the wipeout of the Jedi was bad, yeah, that's nothing compared to an entire race down to only two, uh, to two left, um, but yeah, that'll be cool, and it'll be also interesting to see why the Skeksis are so afraid. Because they, I mean, yeah, they knew about the prophecy of a Gelfling destroy, you know, destroying um, their hold on the world. But it's also going to be interesting to see what Gelfling culture was like. Were they all, were they warriors? Were they, you know, peacemakers? Were they? We never really got to see what the. It, this, I mean, obviously there are only two left, and they're both raised by mystics and the Podlings. So obviously you're not going to see a lot of their culture in there, but. Maybe it'll def. I'm really hoping they build up the stu like that uh, temple that um, Jen and Kira ended up in before they ran to Chamberlain, who we do see Chamberlain in here. So that kind of gives credence to that the Mystics and the Skeksis kind of live a long time. Although granted, the Skeksis do drain the life out of their out of podlings and other creatures, and we do see that. Um, but yeah, I am very much excited for the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. I am just so excited for the practical effects, the, the cast everything. I mean, you know what's gonna happen, like, much like at the Star Wars prequels, but you want to see how it happened, is all I'm saying. So, so yeah, you guys tell us in the comments below, what do you guys think of, uh, Rambo, uh, Rambo Last Blood, and Dark Crystal Age of Resistance? Um, just comment below, let us know, do you guys like them, hate them? What are your, what are you hoping for with these two, uh, movies? Just like I said, comment below, let us know, I'm um, always interested to hear what you guys have to say, and if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My subscribers. I'm DPZ, and on behalf of everyone here, we will see you right here once more in the universe.